Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this video. Uh, today I'm just going to do a quick video on how to install a Z1 Motorsports stainless steel braided clutch line. So this is what you get in the package. Um, this is the clutch line right here. Um, it's stainless steel, hard to see, but it's also insulated. Um, you also get a new banjo bolt and washers. So the first thing you want to do once you get your car up in the air is find the I guess the banjo bolt on the slave cylinder that's a 12 millimeter I just broke that loose and let the brake fluid drain out so once the fluid is empty you want to come to where the uh, line meets the hard line from the master cylinder which is kind of right by your steering rack on the driver's side as you can see uh, right here this is insulated um, but you just want to loosen up that 10 millimeter uh, on the hard line, just back that off. So once you back that 10 millimeter nut off, uh, you need to take a flathead screwdriver or something to pry with. Um, see this little pin, this was almost lined up, but you need to just pry that off. It'll come out. Once you get that off, then the soft line will pull right out. Once you have that off, just Remove the bolt, the banjo bolt on the slave cylinder, and the soft line will pull right out. So, for reinstallation, I started with the slave cylinder. Um, notice that the banjo bolt goes, you got a banjo bolt, a washer, um, the line, and then another washer. So, that's you want to make sure you have that so it's sealing on both ends. Um, and I did clean off these areas, both here and where the hard line meets just to make sure I didn't get any contaminants in the brake fluid. So I just threaded this in to hold it in place until I tightened up the other end where the this line will meet the hard line and then I'll tighten everything up. I do want to point out that this is the bleeder valve so you want to route this line in a way that you could still access the bleeder valve. So when I was installing the brake line to the hard line um, once I got the thread started, I put the clip back in to hold it in place. That way you don't have to worry about it moving around when you're trying to tighten it up. Um, um, what I did to get that back in was a little tricky, but you get a long screwdriver and I just used the steering rack as kind of leverage to be able to push that back in. So after I tightened that up, or that 10 millimeter, I went back down to the banjo bolt um, and just make sure I had the line routed the way I wanted it to, to not be blocking the bleeder valve um, and then just tightened up the banjo bolt it's a 14 millimeter so I'm gonna have someone help me bleed the system um, and that's gonna be about it so now that I got that installed I'm just gonna add some brake fluid have someone help me bleed the clutch system and that's gonna be it um, if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave them down in the comments I'd be ha happy to answer them uh, if you like this video please consider subscribing and leaving a thumbs up thanks I'll see you on the next one